Welcome to the screencast where I'm going to show you how to make a graphic using Google Drawings and then how to bring that graphic into your new Google site. So here's an example. Let's say I'm building a website and I've kind of mind mapped out what I want to do on this drawing here. And I want to create something that looks like this. To create something that looks like this, I can use Google Drawings or maybe something like this where it's just a graphic that maybe pops a little bit more than regular text would. So I've already done this ahead of time. I took this one and created it. I'll show that to you here in a second. And I'm thinking I want to put that on my Google site. So I'm going to move this picture over because I'm thinking maybe just a little infographic right here next to this picture might look really nice. So here is the finished Google drawing. And I'm going to show you how I created this. I use different pieces to create this. So let's take a look at what this looks like to create something like this. You're going to go into your Google Drive and you're going to go to a folder where you want to make sure you know where that Google drawing will be saved. So here I am already in this girls in education folder. I've put other drawings I've made in here as well as the site. New Google sites are saved in Google Drive now. So I just wanted to keep everything in one place. I thought it might be really good to be organized. So everything's in here. So I'm going to I'm going to create my newest drawing in here. I'm going to go to new down to more and I'm going to choose Google drawing. If I go too fast at all at any point during this video, feel free to pause, do a few steps, and, and you can come back and kind of continue to work with me on this. Okay, so here's my drawing, totally blank canvas. The checkered background means that that is transparent right now. So if I put this image on something, if there's color in the background, the color will show through. You'll see how that works a little bit later. I'm gonna first name my drawing. So I'll call this infographic, just so I remember. And then some of the pieces I use to create this, I want to point out what those are right now. Uh, so here's the shapes button. In the shapes button, if I go down to shapes, I get all these different shapes that I can also add text in. I can double click after I put these onto my canvas and, and actually add text within them. I'll show that in a minute. Uh, but here's a no symbol that I could use. Um, here's like a rounded rectangle if I want to put some information in, a, in an infographic looking uh, display. Here's arrows, all different types of arrows I can pick and choose. Here's callouts, which are little speech bubbles. Maybe I'm going to create a graphic of someone talking, so I might need a speech bubble or a nice banner or stars, and then some equation symbols. So let me grab an arrow. I click and choose this arrow. Now my cursor changed to this crosshair. Now I can click and drag and draw, and as I click and drag around, it changes the shape of what my arrow will be. So I'm going to make something that looks like this. The arrow starts off blue. If the if the uh, object is clicked on, I can change that using this paint bucket fill color icon. So let's say I want that to be orange. The button next to this is the line color, the outline. So right now that's black, that's good, but it's not very thick. I wanna change the line weight. I can click here and choose to make this. That's maybe a little too thick. Let me go back and change that. Uh, and there's all other different choices here. I can double click into a shape and add text. So I double clicked in here right now or double tapped and Malayla give this journey. I'll put some text in there. I'll highlight that text. I can change the font just like I can in a Google draw or a Google uh, doc or a Google slide. Oh, that's maybe a little too big. It doesn't fit on one line, but I can adjust my shape if I need to. I can center the text, bold the text, italicize it, do whatever I need to with the text that's within a shape. So that's bringing in a shape. Let me bring in one other shape just to show this here. Uh, here are my resources item. Whoops, I'm gonna make a bullet point list because you can do that as well. So if I go under more and choose bullets, item one, item two, item three. I'll just do those as placeholders right now. I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see how this looks here. There we go. Give it a font change. So now when you have more than one object, objects can sit over other objects. So right now the blue box is ordered in front of the orange triangle. You can change that. If I right click on this or two finger tap and I choose order, I can choose to send this item to the back. So now maybe I want something where the arrow kind of sits just a little bit over. I'd have to reorder these things, either bring something to the front or send it to the back for that to look that way. Other things you can do, you can make text boxes. I tend to put text into a shape though, just so it has a colored background. I think that looks nice. I can choose images. So I get an image picker, just like I do in Google Docs, which means if I have a, uh, an image saved to my computer, I can upload it. I can take a picture with my Chromebook camera. 
uh, I can do a search. And in the search, I get these three choices. Right now, I get a Google search. Life is a magazine. I get life image search or stock images search. So let's see what we get if we get women in education. And let's see here. Women in education. So all different pictures here. Let's say I want to bring this one in. I choose this one. I hit select. So that picture could also be a part of my infographic that I'm making. If I want to put the picture by itself just into the site, I don't need to do a Google drawing for that. I can just do that at the site. This is only if you want to annotate or make um, some images and text and, and things like that all, all together. Okay, so let me put this just right here. So two final things with this. One, when you've got your image done, depending on if you need a bigger or smaller canvas, you can click, if you just click on the, the checkered background, you can drag this corner and make this different. So if you need more of a rectangular image, you could kind of set that that way. When you're done with your image, it's a good idea to take out any extra space. So what I mean by that is right now I've got all this extra space here, all this extra space here. I'm going to grab that corner and kind of almost like you're cropping, just kind of leave behind what's needed for the image. So that's the first thing. The second thing is if you plan to put this into your Google site, you have to set this drawing so that anyone can see it. Right now, the share settings are that this is private. If I click on share and I go in here to get shareable link, this allows me to change the rights for how this is viewed. Right now, this means that anyone, because I just turned this on, anyone at Franklin can view this image. If I want a wider audience to be able to see this, say I'm making my site so anyone on the web can see it, I have to come in here and change this from anyone at Franklin. I have to go under more and choose anyone with the link and it's set to can view and I'll hit save. So now when I put this image into my site, it will work. People will be able to see it. If I don't do that step, it's just going to be an empty space on my site. So that's very important. All right, let's go over to my site and let's add that image in. So I want to put an image right here. I can double tap and choose from drive because that's where my image is. And here are different images that I have been creating. I'll put in the real one that I made earlier. So I'm going to choose that infographic and choose insert. And there it is. And I can stretch and change this just like I can stretch and change another image. So that looks like that size is actually really good. As I work, I'm going to remember to hit publish every so often so that those changes are now live. And if I go to the menu and choose view publish site, I can see what my audience sees. This is what my website looks like now that it's coming together. So there is my infographic along with my image. That's how you create a Google drawing and put it into your new Google site. Thanks for watching.